Hi babes, how are you? And today we're going with Selena Gomez a reading as you guys requested it a couple days ago. You guys wanted me to read about her birthday party, upcoming music videos, when it will happen, so on and so on and so on. So with this said, let's move forward. I want to remind you as always that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that roles could be reversing between energies. As I always say, uh, this is entirely general and a uh, legal disclaimer that this is for your entertainment purposes only as everything said and mentioned here is allegedly throughout the whole video. So with this said, um, we can move forward. Also, a friendly reminder that I am on Spotify. It's totally free and where I post kind of like mostly every two or three days on Spotify. I talk about multiple spiritual uh, topics and other stuff as well. So if you, might, if you don't mind following me there, make sure to check the comment section for the pinned comment and where you will find the link for my spotify as well as my description box below and where you're gonna find the links to all my social medias including spotify so let's see let's see i hope everybody had an amazing weekend let's see whoa that was simple so quick quick we got judgment libra energy we got the ace of pentacles taurus virgo we got the ace of wands leo sagittarius nine of cups cancer scorpio taurus and capricorn again we got sagittarius energy libra gemini energy and capricorn virgo energy as well with the five four once we go back in the reverse we go back to fire energies so let me see let me fix my way <laughs> anyways um what is it what is it what is it so it's telling me right here that there let's talk about her and in, in um her upcoming mu music video it's still upcoming right they're still working on it right uh allegedly here her and her team are still working on it um they're teasing some stuff she's gonna tease some music some maybe like like soundtrack without really lyrics just like the sound on her ig most likely it's gonna be a story about it um it's telling me here the 20th okay now it's not giving me a month or so uh the judgment sometimes is related towards like october like down which is like fall winter energy or seasons but again it's not giving me a, a year this could be in 2024 as well but if not it's saying like it's a day 20 20th like is what it's giving me right now as i said before they're still working on it as they're doing other stuff allegedly there's going to be music with her and taylor swift and a possibility of her and demi lovato again this could be just something that they want to work with with especially with a uh, demi maybe it's not gonna you know fall through but so far it seems like there's gonna be collaborations with some uh singers um allegedly uh somebody and her pr team uh like they they peach this idea of her and justin but it's something that i don't know if it's gonna fall through or so i do see her in a possible collaboration with sean mendes as well now moving from that right it says right here that she's gonna be launching a a new bronzer allegedly a new like powder foundation kind of kind of thing um now it says right here that she is also about her birthday she's gonna celebrate with close family uh and close family members and close friends um allegedly here uh justin did send or will be sending uh, a message relate and connected to her birthday party allegedly um she's gonna be very like oh thank you that da, 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 but it's not gonna be very sweet she's gonna be very short um it does see right here that allegedly he did not get the response he was waiting for uh because uh he wasn't waiting for such a cold response but at the end of the day i don't know what he was expecting to be honest but he was like expecting maybe something more like oh thank you so much but no she was like she was polite but she was short so it's a sense of like oh i'm surprised at how she reacted i was expecting some something but he didn't get whatever he was expecting allegedly now i do see right here that um 
him and Haley are allegedly are arguing and fighting over that text and over maybe an invitation or he allegedly wanted to go. Um, I do see problems in paradise in between him and Haley, yet it's not about them, it's about Selena, so we're gonna move from that. With the Ten of Pentacles right here, I also see right here that this is a contract or something related to, I'm sorry, to Haley and Justin, I don't know why it popped again, and where it's saying that they're running out of money. Allegedly, they're running out of money um, in a way to perform. Now, I'm not claiming that they're broke or that they're gonna be poor, but it seems like money is not flowing the way it used to, right? Now, with the five of ones in the reverse right here, there's going to be some sort of drama related to her birthday, Selena's, and she's not going to actually dive in into that. Again, you know, people could say whatever they want, especially people who have never been invited to those kind of parties, especially if you didn't, if you didn't go, how would you know, right? But at the end of the day, I feel like it's not going to last much. It's just going to be just seems as somebody who is a petty person because they didn't get invited to the birthday party or the little get together with the eight of wands in the reverse right here like i said before it's not gonna go too far that like little drama thing i do feel allegedly here um i don't know why is connecting the weekend with uh something said like a tweet or like something shared on social media um but yeah people could take as oh he's saying this to you selena or maybe a tweet that's straightforward or something that he said towards selena that it sounds like a compliment allegedly but it sounds also like it could be like a double edge kind of thing you know like a backhanded compliment you know that kind of kind of thing that is what i'm saying seeing that he could have just tweeted and people either were connecting it with selena or it was straightforward towards selena as well what else can you tell me about selena mother Lilith? please and thank you Um, you're gonna see Selena um, in her birthday or around like either or before her birthday in her birthday or a couple days after that she may not seem so happy she may seem a little sad a little defeated perhaps I do feel like uh, the world is gonna be like oh my god what happened to her it's also related to the day 21st as well not sure I do see that allegedly uh, she could actually um, get a little sick connected to her you know condition I do see allegedly that she could actually be a little bit uh, sick for a couple either or four days or even four weeks which is almost a month but I do feel like she could actually uh, be a, like bad bad illness like she could actually need it to rest for those days um, she will need to take time off if this is like unplanned of course out of nowhere but I do see that it's gonna be like either or she's gonna tweet it or Instagram or somebody close to her is gonna say something about like she not feeling very well that she's right now like that she could be sick and she could be just resting in her in bed you know with the eight of cups in reverse right here um i do feel like people are gonna be you know praying for her worried about her because selena is very loved and very cared for by a lot of celebrities by a lot of her fans and you know like people care for her so people are gonna be keeping an eye on her um i do see that uh some people are gonna like allegedly these are just pure haters who are gonna say like oh she's saying this because she wants clout because she wants sympathy uh no whoever may say this uh, you're pure hate and that's a problem that you need to work on because allegedly here she is not like lying about her bad illness and like being and needing time off because she needs to recover no she legit needs to um uh, this could be also if it's not connected to her illness this allegedly could be about like giving covid as well but i do see it's more connected to her um illness related to it um i do see right here um that there is that there is somebody at uh, somebody's marriage somebody is gonna get married to connect it to her i don't know why it's so important as well but I do feel like a lot of people, going back to what I was saying, this was just a random thing that I saw. But a lot of people are going to be praying for her, for her, you know, recovery and whatnot. Let's see, what else?
after that she's gonna be just fine uh you're gonna see justin allegedly once you know the the news break down and where she could be you know sick or not you're gonna see him a little bit sad allegedly he's gonna send her flowers and trying to you know re like talk to her but she's not going to talk to him she is keeping her distant and being quite cold towards him like pushing him away with all his advances because allegedly he continues to try to you know be more than friends kind of energy and she don't want that because she's not that kind of person um i do see that also it's talking about justin's allegedly money restrictions here and um I just see that um, you may see Haley. I know it's not connected to Selena, but it just popped and I gotta say it. She may actually, like on TikTok or IG, whatever, she's more active, don't even know, is in where she's going to be sponsored by multiple different brands like Maybelline and a bunch of other brands, allegedly. And not that she has never done it, but she has never done so much in a row. And people be like, oh my gosh. And it's because literally she is needing the money, allegedly. And she's trying to get, you know, sponsorships and all that just to make sure that you know they don't run out of the money they are used to again they may never be broke of course but the cars are talking about money inflow not being as much anymore and they having to do other stuff one of the things for Haley is for the first time actually work for it <laughs> when the queen of pentacles and that reverse as well i do see that she allegedly uh somebody on what's her name Haley's team is gonna try to connect selena's team to try to make a collab because you know allegedly Haley is also looking not only for money income but also for like like uh drama because she, allegedly she likes to stay relevant but moving from that selena is gonna say no she's like no thank you we good <laughs> with the three of ones in the reverse right here um she has more more projects, uh, something about overseas and whatnot, but she's not saying much. Uh, it does seem right here that allegedly there is a product from Rare Beauty in where it's like, I don't know if it's a blush or if it's a bronzer, lipstick, one of those three because it's like something in a stick. So it looks like either or, I don't know, like a liquid bronzer, uh, blush, or a lip gloss and where it's going to get discontinued and she's going to come with something else, a different formula or a different color. So she may announce that or the company may announce that. A lot of people are not going to see that coming allegedly and they're going to buy it. And some people are going to be super sad because they're not going to be able to get that product. I do see like the name of that product, uh, you know, like that, that like number that the, that the lipsticks have at the bottom, you know, besides the name, you, you know, have like a number, like, like let's say N1 stickers so you're one, for example, right? Uh, this product is, it says it's like K8. 11 5 something that's the number of the product that could actually allegedly get in this continue that is not the lot maybe it's called the lot number or dpci and where it's like a k is giving k8511 something number you know a lot of people are not going to be very happy about it but they don't know that she's working on it to bring something even better so you know don't be too stressed about it now um allegedly there's gonna be some rumors of selena dating a specific someone who has a girlfriend now this is not related to justin bieber because she will always be related to him allegedly unfortunately regardless of what happens but moving from that she's gonna be related to a claim people claiming that she's dating or flirting with somebody who has a wife or a girlfriend and that's gonna be completely uh cut off and where people be like she's gonna say hey i will never do that that's not the kind of woman i am and if not you know other people are going to like take away that lie because i don't know why allegedly people are doing these claims but it's because maybe they're uh work together or they were in the same place and they actually just you know let's say they they say hi to each other this could be related to zane as well if not this could be related to again any others uh, let's say and i'm talking about zane because people still connect him with gg some people but moving from that if it's not that it's like gonna be somebody else again i just give you zane as an example as a possibility right but 
let's see, with the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Um, I do see like Selena is just minding her business, doing her thing, continue to focus on her health, focus on her business. Everything she does turns to gold, literally. I do see that she is going to have a good birthday. There's going to be some drama here and there because allegedly every time she knows that every time her birthday comes, there's some claims because, you know, there's people out there who don't like to see others happy so at this point she's not gonna put uh, too much mind into it she's gonna have fun and all that um um he allegedly justin's gonna make like a, a post or something about her birthday either or what happens or weeks after but it's not gonna get him anywhere anywhere where he wants to be with selena um he's still like in a way to perform still connected to the past and the sad thing with justin allegedly is that he's connected to the past but at the same time he's not willing to work on things now to make sure that he could go back if that's the case with her he's just like saying i miss you for example i miss you i love you you're always gonna be special to me or that you know stupid stuff like that but at the same time he's not leaving allegedly Haley. he's not working on it he's doing literally nothing right so at this point you know this is just a unfortunate because he's a dude who's unavailable yet he does not let her go completely allegedly now with the page of cups right here there is a dude right here besides the point in where he's like 25 he's younger than selena he seems to be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio again this does not have to be with justin because i know justin is a water sign but no not necessarily is him because justin um is older than 25 but it says like a dude who's like 24 25 and where he is going to be connected with selena he's a shorter dude brownish hair um he could be either or british or from australia i do sense an accent here like he definitely speaks english but he has an accent of like the uk or australia maybe a different accent but i do see like this uh overseas person who is super handsome though and he is going to try to shoot her shot and most likely be connected to selena for a bit but now i do see that selena unfortunately needs to be careful because a possible accent could actually brew i do feel like um this could be a possible accent accident in a way she perform there's no deadly situation but um i do feel there could be a car accident allegedly or some sort of like a small fire that could be more like a scare more than just a deadly situation but i do see it's talking about the day 16 um and where she then the day 16 she needs to be careful because it seems like those are the days that she could be prone for accidents or for example bad luck in a way to perform also when we add six and seven six and one i'm sorry it's a seven and seven uh, in numerology allegedly you know these are a number that is prone to specific accidents especially after its age 24 24 all the way to 61 those are the age that they need to be more careful according to numerology and people who are in the number seven they are prone for accidents or terrible things to have things happening connected to fire to water to tsunamis to earthquakes and whatnot so i do see that you know she needs to be careful allegedly here again there's no deadly outcome for her but it could be just a very intense um scare so this is what i actually see but that's what i see though that's what i see so let's see if i can give you an initial for that dude that i was telling you so you, hold on kiss. there you go baby you're welcome baby <laughs> just like when i open the the snacks let me give you you know mother duties you know oh okay these are the first you see that how they came out <laughs> so okay so initials so we have ks and kfc bs and boy ps and peter ys and yes as and apple us and umbrella ds and diego qs and queso x and xavier and h is a hamburger so again, as I said before, these are possible initials. This could be the first, last, middle, or even a nickname for this person who's coming. So these are the possible, again, initials for this new individual. So now we're going to go with the uh, little dices. So we're going to go and take a look what this says for Selena. 
Okie dokes. So we got month, zodiac sign, and house. That's the order. We have it here. Now, the, the planet, right, that we got was the Mercury. Okay, this goes like this. Mercury pertain to communication, intellectual matters, conversations, new idea, creativity, what is logical. This represents the situation. Now, we're going to go with the sort of sign. This uh, represents the emotional side, and we got a Gemini. Seeing both sides intrigued, overthinking, oversharing, devious, manipulative, intellectual distrust. And finally, we got the house, which is 11, and this is the area of life. Represents protection and good moments, lucky gifts, connection with people, sharing bounty, prosperity. So this is overall what I see for Selena. So overall, it seems positive. So with this said, babes, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. As I said before, uh, don't hesitate on checking my Spotify, please. It's going to be in the description box below or in the comment section. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll always follow back, please. Uh, also, let's see what else. I am open for personal readings. I'm running a sale going on for personal readings, so you want to check it out. A friendly reminder that I do not offer any free readings, and if you want to book your own book online, and what else, what else? I never message anybody to offer any of my services. The only website you can actually use to book with me directly is through here, the website I provide here, as well as the links on my bio on my Instagram. So with this said, guys, thank you so much. If you have any other social, social media person or celebrity that you want, to, want me to read, comment down below. And when I have the time, I will do it. So with this said, love you again and have an amazing day.